Welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. In today's video, we're going over the issue with the new Fire TV Stick update. So a lot of people have been reporting that their Fire TV Stick no longer has developer option. We know that without developer options, we don't have the ability to install third-party applications. So it looks like Amazon is rolling out a new update that actually disables that feature. But the good news is that it's not completely gone yet. There is a way to bring it back and that's what we're gonna cover in this video. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bell, let's go. So as I said in the intro, a lot of people have been reporting that in the most recent update, and it's hard to say which version it is because there's so many different devices affected. So we've seen this on the Fire TV Stick Lite, the Fire TV Stick 4K, the Max, as well as the Fire TV Cube. And along with those, some of the people who owns those smart TVs, those smart Fire TVs uh, are reporting the same issues. So normally you go into your Fire TV Stick, go to My Fire TV, and uh, developer options is right below the about so everyone that's reporting this issue uh there is no developer options here it goes from about to legal and compliance to sleep to restart but developer options is completely missing so uh in the comments before we jump into the fix let me know if you think amazon is slowly phasing out the ability to install third-party applications a lot of people that think that way a lot of people are, are starting to think that way maybe they're going to lock it down kind of like roku or um, the apple device but i think what they're doing is just putting everything more in line with what's going on with Android devices as far as the developer options. And we saw something similar on the Chromecast with Google TV that the options not turn on by default. You need to go in and get in there and find it and turn it on. So having said that, if you're someone that's missing that developer options, here's what you need to do in order to get it back. So if you're on a Fire TV, Fire TV Stick, Fire TV Cube, you're gonna go to your settings. You're gonna go to my Fire TV. And you're gonna go ahead and click on about. If you're on a Fire TV, Smart TV, you're gonna go to your settings, device, software, then about, and it's gonna bring you to the same place. Now, as I said before, guys, you remember that in your Google devices, uh, your smartphones for the most part, even in the Chromecast or Google TV, we saw that to enable developer options, you need to go in and tap on the version number seven times. And you see the option to pop up saying you're now a developer. Well, same thing you're gonna do here, guys. And what you're gonna do is just Click the OK button or the center button seven times and it should open up developer options. So you're gonna click it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And for me, obviously I have developer options now, but if you don't have it, you will see a pop-up at the bottom saying you're now a couple steps away from being a developer. And eventually when you keep tapping, it's gonna say no need, you're already a developer. And then if you go back, you now see developer options there with the ADB debugging as well as the ask someone on sources. So in the comments, let me know if you ran into this issue. I am gonna put something in the community section as well. And let me know if you think Amazon is slowly phasing out the ability to install third-party applications. Of course, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.